Well, I don't think now is the right moment to to look back. I'm sure we will do that exhaustively. I mean, what I thought was significant about this morning's hearing was that we heard more from the health secretary than we've ever heard before about the importance of mass community testing. Because, you know, if you look at Germany, uh, 25% more people than us, but death rates a third of ours. If you look at Korea, which had the virus worse than us, they've never had more than nine deaths on any single day. They've done it through testing in the community. And what needs to happen now, if we're going to emulate that best practice globally, is a massive ramp up, not just in the testing, but also the, the tracing of everyone who's been in contact with someone who has the virus, the quarantining. And that is a, a very manpower intensive process. And if we're going to be in a position where we can actually track and trace every single person who has COVID or who might have had COVID uh, in three weeks' time, because that's when we could next potentially end the lockdown, well, that is a huge logistical undertaking. It's clear that none of the big decisions have been taken on that. We don't yet know how much is going to be done by local government, how much is going to be done centrally, how much is going to be done by an app. But if we're going to copy the best in the world, then that's what we now need to do. When this crisis started, you went on the record, I think on the radio, and said there is no country in the world that you would rather be in because of the centralised structure of the NHS, I think you were referring to, than Britain when a crisis like this struck. Now we appear to be flailing around for a testing strategy, let alone an ability to execute it. Do you regret your words? No, because I was talking about how brilliant the NHS is, and I think they are Sure, but brilliant. testing is critical to this, isn't it? It's not it just is. about seeing people when they fall ill. It's being able to test and trace. But I was; those comments were talking about how brilliant the NHS is Forget in terms that. of ramping up its capacity. But yes, on testing, I've been one of the people who's been saying we needed to move much faster to um, testing alongside the, the very best in the world. And we have now got this 100,000 ramp up. But my point today, and this is what we discussed extensively in the select committee, is a test is not a cure. A test helps you if you can then isolate who has the virus and who they've been in contact with and isolate them as well. And we now need to see some very rapid decisions. Um, one of the reasons around the testing took too long to ramp up is it was all done centrally by Public Health England. Now, the Health Secretary today said he hadn't decided whether it was going to be done centrally or with local government. And I think one of the lessons we could reasonably draw from the, the slowness of ramping things up centrally on the testing is that this is something we should trust local government to help us with when we move out of the lockdown. And yet, central government says to you today, it still hasn't decided which way to go on that. That's true. But they also said they recognised this was part of the solution. And I haven't heard that as explicitly before. So I think that, as with testing, I think they have got the right intentions. But we need to work very fast. I mean, we had last week, the Science um, and Technology Select Committee, we had uh, the, the Korean Dr. Lee from the Korean Centre for Disease Control. She said she thought they've got about a 1,000 people doing contact tracing in Korea, in central and local government. Uh, Neil Ferguson was talking yesterday on the radio about the huge national effort. Um, and this could be tested out in places like Yorkshire or Cornwall today, because those are parts of the country which have got relatively very few COVID cases. And so we could start seeing whether it's possible to um, lift the lockdown by replacing it with this testing and contact tracing. So that really has to be the next step. Sorry, again, are you requesting, demanding, suggesting? Because we seem to have been discussing testing now for week after week after week, and there doesn't seem to be a very clear strategy apart from announcing targets from the government. Well, you know, I am um, chair of the Health and Social Care Select Committee. so and the, the former only Secretary I... of State for Health of Indeed, many years uh, standing. Absolutely right. So all I would say is that in this situation, we've just got to look at what works best around the world. And it's very Korea. The standout country in Europe is Germany. The standout country in the world is Korea, but also Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore. So we were behind on testing, but now there's been some good progress made on testing. We're up to 18,000 tests yesterday, which is a whole lot better than a week ago. 
the next bit is not just to test, but to actually put in place in the community a system so that as we, we had, in fact, a couple of months ago, but then it stopped on the 12th of May, um, a system where anyone who thinks they've got COVID symptoms can call 111, uh, they get a test immediately, and then once they've had the test, uh, we then talk uh, to them about who they've been in contact with, test them and isolate them. And, and that's what the international best practice is. Jeremy Hunt, thank you.